Hello everybody and welcome back to M&J Games. I am Michael and today we are looking at another coaster spotlight. As you can see this is more of a smaller scale wooden coaster. More of the family variety but it does have one inversion which is obviously a custom inversion. But it's called Barnstormer. It's called the Gravity Group Woody. And it's created by IT1KE Turtles 5C12. That one took me a little bit to make sure I was getting correctly. Um, but the description of this basically says, Barnstormer is a Gravity Group Woody coaster. The ride contains one inversion. It's a very compact layout, so you can use it in your park if you'd like. The ride also has a very good night ride with it. So we'll make sure to check it out at the... Do a day ride and a night ride. So to me, this looks a little bit quick for a family-style wooden coaster. But, you know, I could be totally wrong with that. I see these smaller trains but either way this looks really awesome really compact as you can see it's just the individual coaster and the layout here um, i do think the that's called barnstormer and how it comes kind of with a barn is um you know clever maybe the only thing i would have done differently is i would have one thing you could have done is essentially moved shifted all of this down and kind of lowered the terrain in this part because I do think it's a little bit awkward how you go into the station kind of higher up on the barn and there's nothing below so just a little bit more detail down there would be better um, but also like how you know you've got the sign for it and then we've got a little information booth which um, little hats fantastic which looks like it could be an on-ride photo section or something so that's a really really good job but as we can initially see just the layout before we go on the coaster. So you've got obviously the first hill, you've got a turnaround. you got a little mini helix it looks like. So there's a lot of kind of tight twisty turns and then you can see the custom inversion right here. So this coaster looks awesome. I'm excited to take a ride on it. And I do think the theming and everything around it's done pretty well. Uh, maybe the only thing I'd say is let's see what those lights at nighttime. Yeah, so with those nights at light, I probably would have just sunk those in the ground, in my opinion. Um, that's just that's just me personally, um, because I don't like those showing unless you kind of hide them with bushes and different stuff. Um, that's just me, though. So we're actually just going to we'll do a daytime ride on this coaster. And as this one's moving out of the station, before that, we need to actually go in the station, look around. And I definitely like... So the only thing is I would have put this on the other side because I know they exit off the same side they enter, but to me there's not enough space there really realistically we are going to have everybody kind of grab their stuff. Um, and I think you could have also had more of these windows kind of going along the wall. And then we also, I really love this um, conductor's room. The only thing is since you used wall pieces, um, I mean there's no no window for the con uh, the conductor, the control operator to look out of. And they need to be able to look out here and make sure that nobody's, um, everybody's acting how they're supposed to act. Him. Now all that's obviously from a realism standpoint. But let's go ahead and take a ride on the coaster. Everything's in green, looks great. Biggest drop, 78 feet. Yeah, so not a, not a large coaster by any stretch of the imagination. Max speed, 52. G-forces look good. Maybe laterals, maybe a little bit high. Uh, I like the effect of having the speakers on the lift hill. All right, so there's the coaster. I really liked it. I think there are a couple spots that could have been just a tad bit smoother. Um, just in my personal opinion, I think, where was it? I think right here. Maybe it was somewhere around there um, after the inversion. No, it was right, okay. Where is it? Yeah, right here. So I think the custom inversion could have been a little bit smoother. 
Um, but overall, I mean, just love the layout and design of it. I mean, feels fantastic, looks fantastic. I'd love to go on this coaster in real life. And so one thing I wanted to show real quick um, is that I have gotten, you know, I'm still not perfect at it, but I have gotten a lot better with smoothing. And so what I've started doing is taking three pieces at a time and just going like this. And sometimes when you're doing custom inversions, it doesn't quite um, do what you want it to do. So you just kind of work with it then. Um, actually, I did two that time, so three. And so the, I'm just going this whole way right here. And I know sometimes when you're smoothing it out, it maybe takes away some of the custom element that you might have wanted to have. And so that's something you know you just got to kind of work with. So here it says track exceeds limits, um, probably because of how tight the turn is. But what I also might do is kind of bank it out a little bit more because with those you can lessen the g-force a little bit if you if you bank the coaster a little bit more and so then you can kind of test it out see that says it exceeds limits hold on more there we go I was on the wrong camera so then now you can just kind of smooth it to kind of have it kind of interact like that and then you um, can kind of go back and smooth a couple so it's going to tighten that part up and then let's just and I usually go through and do this two times and see how it is. And then um, if it needs it again, just kind of do it um, if needed more. And so when I'm doing this, I'm not trying to overstep or anything. Just because I know um, it took me a while to kind of get used to the smoothing aspect of it. And I even up until a couple of weeks ago, or actually maybe a month or two ago, was, you know, I was always doing four pieces at a time. I was doing it a little bit differently. But now I'm kind of starting to do three. And sometimes you might stop at certain elements. Let's kind of take a look and see how this is now and see if this helped out. All it might not, um, you know, sometimes the smoothing doesn't quite work how we want it to. See, so far everything's super smooth. Yeah, so that, the, coming up that hill wasn't quite as smooth, but you definitely see how even just going back and smoothing this part out another one to two times really created where it doesn't rock at all. And so smoothing can be tedious, but it's about just learning kind of which strategy kind of works for you. And so that's just kind of what I learned. So I wanted to just pass on a little knowledge there. But I actually absolutely love this design of the coaster. Love how it turned out. Like I said, only only thing I'd say is maybe have a little bit more detail on the building and stuff. But really, really fantastic. Love to hear y'all's thoughts as always. Thank you so much for watching. And make sure to hit that like button and have a great rest of y'all's day.